So, at first, because the sun is going down, Dobre wieczo. <laughs> um, let me uh, say some personal words about me. My name is Jose Cerrilla Garrido. I'm the international coordinator of the Dr. Rafael Foundation. I'm 45 years old. I am married and I have two wonderful sons, Emilio and Pablo. I would like to thank my family and friends and all of you who are here for giving me the opportunity to do this work and for giving me all full support. Approximately 10 years ago, I was lucky to get in touch with Dr. Rath's organization before I was a salesman. And my bosses constantly asked me what was my turnover, how high is the profit margin, etc. This was my work. When I started to work for the Karat organization and I joined a board meeting for the first time, I asked myself, what is going on here? They talked the only time about spreading the message and helping people. Then, I did not yet understand what the intention behind all of this was. It was totally different from what I was used in my profession. Gradually, I became aware that exactly this was what I had been looking for for a long time. My children asked me, Pops, what's your job? What are you doing? I used to answer, I sell things. Nowadays, I proudly could answer, I help to save human lives and I protect the future. At this very moment, we live in one of the most dangerous periods in the history of mankind, as we are on the turning point for generations to come. On the other hand, we also live in the best time ever, a time of limitless communication. This offers great opportunities, as you know. I'm very happy to see you all here, and I'm convinced that you accepted our invitation because something very important united us. The implementation of three untouchable human rights, health, peace, and social justice. Today we will speak about movement of life, of life, a unique movement. Why this movement is so unique and different from all others, you will discover by yourself during this presentation. If you have any questions, please talk to me or my colleagues at the end of this event. We will have time for that. Today we have a lot of interesting historical backgrounds and facts which influence the current situation in all aspects of our life. Today we have learned about important knowledge for mankind with regard to the scientifically proven natural medicine, the cellular medicine. Now it is important to put this knowledge at the disposal of everyone. What if I ask you the question, what kind of a euro do you wish for? For sure. You will have a very personal opinion about how this euro should be. If I ask you now about the future you wish for, suddenly it will become clear to you that this future is inseparably linked to the future of Europe. Is this the Europe we all wish for? What we show here is easy to understand for anyone. It is a clear no to the current Brussels EU 
which is presented to us as a standard for democracy. However, this view in Brussels is far away being a democracy. And so we say clearly no to this. The state is the future of Europe. This clear no to a Europe of benefits for companies and corporate trust will turn into a yes, a yes for Europe governed by people for people, whose main goals are health, peace and social justice. They will be surprised because they do not count on the power of the weak. This is the way these things are see us. Without a true democracy, our future and the future of our children is in great danger. This applies to all aspects of our life. This is a reality, and our goals are not an illusion like this picture. What is the movement of life? What is its goals? Here in the middle, you can see what you need us. Health, peace and social justice. Our organization analyzes the status quo and informs you about other options. Well-defined goals are important to any organization. Our main goal is to liberate people from a century of dependency on oil and pharma concerns and to protect humans for generations to come. All of these is a selection of subjects which are the basis of the movement of life. Each one of these subjects is a strategic goal for political and social, social changes. Of course, we can enumerate more subjects. Let's point out clearly, however, that we are no a political party. We are a movement of people for people. Please follow me to some of the areas and goals of this unique movement. History of the business of disease. We have to spread the truth. Some of you may already know, but at this point it is important to keep the following in mind. It is obvious that understanding and spreading were about what really happened, the truth about history, is a precondition for building a better world. At the beginning of the 19th century, scientists analyzed and compiled the structure of molecules, the small units of which all material that surround us consist. They did this on behalf of the upcoming pharma industry and the chemical cartels. Here you see a page from a book where all this knowledge has been collected. As you can see there are plenty of volumes available of such books. This is not a problem if the thirst for knowledge is satisfied and the goal is the well-being and development of mankind. The cartel's real goal, however, was to patent these molecules in order to earn horrendous amounts of money for the stakeholders to get worldwide patents. At the same time, they wanted to get worldwide patents. Therefore, the cartel planned in the hidden background the first attempt to rule the world, the first world war, sacrificing over 20 million of lives. The publics <coughs> were stripped of their power, but the public master and designers stay and cook up new plans. The new plans lead 
to the Second World War with over 60 million victims. Again, the puppets were stripped of power again. And the puppet master escaped unharmed. If you really think that the cartel has given up their plans to rule the world, then I must disappoint you. Only the means have changed. The goal is still the same. At the moment we are living to the third attempt of the cartel to rule the world. This time they do not use military force, but act on an entirely different level. It is as bad, if not even worse. Mankind had to go through two world wars with over 100 million deaths to realize that the main reason for those wars was the principle of getting patents under the disguise of democracy. Thus, the K goal has to be outlawed, patents on health and life. We demand to be able to decide ourselves about all matters that are important to our lives and want to put and stop the meddling from above. We choose our spokesmen and not the cartel. This is the moment and not what they make us believe. The most important goal of the movement of life is protecting the health and lives of the people on this planet now in all future generations to protect them against being abused by or sacrificed to corporate interests. We demand the creation of a new healthcare system. Over the past century, pharmaceutical interests have tried to build a monopoly on world health based and two main elements. The exclusivity of patent drugs as therapies and the privatization of the healthcare sector under their control. It goes without saying that the precondition for a new healthcare system is the elimination of these two elements of control. As opposite to the existing healthcare system, which is based upon the promotion and expansion of diseases for planted, patented drugs, <clears throat> the focus of the new healthcare system is the prevention and elimination of diseases. The first step in recognizing a new healthcare system towards these goals is the abolishing of all patents for therapeutic drugs and other medicines. The second step is bringing the healthcare sector under the control of the people. This is the only way to guarantee that medical research, education and practice serves exclusively the health interests of the people and not the financial interests behind the pharmaceutical industry. Now we're coming to a very interesting thing in the point of education and health. An independent education is the key to change. Now I would like to show something amazing. The goals for this project, Body Institute, are first to demystify medicine through the explanation of functions of our body in a clear and easy to understand and playful way and second, to democratize healthcare by spreading this knowledge, getting answers and building networks. Who knows this platform already from you? Yeah, fantastic. Good. Body XQ stands for Expression through the body. It is the world first interactive education program that enables you to travel inside the organs of the body. And 
explore the fun functions interactively studying the effects of micronutrients such as vitamins, minerals, amino acids, trace elements on the performance of cells and learning how cellular functions determine our health with knowledge. In, uh, oh, sorry, our health and the development of diseases. Improving your own health with this knowledge and helping your family and friends to do the same by introducing them to this website. The information on this website is so basic that everyone, young and old, rich and poor, anywhere in the world can understand it and apply it. If you would like to have more information, you may want to see this map. You can find a locate a health ambassador near to you. PolyXQ is available in nine different languages and more to come. It is available for free in Apple stores or Google Play. You can use this program with your smartphone, tablet PC, laptop or other PCs. We are in the process of building a forum in order to intensify network and have dialogue with the people. In order to this interesting and amazing program, I will invite Markus Hecki to come here on stage and say some words to you. He is uh, one of the programmers of this uh, educational part and he will explain you some words about that. Thank you, Markus. Yeah, thank you all. My name is Amanda Hecki, and I'm belonging to the group which is developing Body XQ as a tool for you. We are developing this uh, software to give you a um, um, tool which gives you the ability to explore the functions <coughs> of your body and which gives you the deeper understanding about what's going on and what's needed inside your body. And I'm here to um, answer your questions you might have, and you can meet me after the presentations outside. Thank you. Food safe, organic food against GMO. We have heard today a lot of that. The gene genetic information contained in animals, plants, and the food that has been growing in our fields and gardens for millennia belong to us all. Oh. Manipulating and altering the genetic code of life with the goal of patenting and creating global market monopoly. Monopolies bears the danger that our food supplies are controlled and used for political gain by corporate interests. In addition, conventional intensive agriculture techniques requiring the use of large quantities of toxic patented pesticides, herbicides, and synthetic fertilizer have polluted our soil, our water supplies thereby treating ecologic balance and even life itself. Similarly, intensive agricultural techniques must be replaced by organic farming and other decentralized natural agriculture methods. The next important point. Good health and the sustaining of life depend upon Clear, clean air, pure water, and an absence of toxic chemicals in the environment. Over the past century, 
carbon derivative pollution of the atmosphere originating from oil drilling and coal mining industries has become one of the major threats to our environment. Global warming and other consequences are also threatening the survival of our planet. In the 21st century, carbon derived energies must be replaced by hydrogen based solar, wind, tidal, and other renewable forms of energy, thereby simultaneously protecting human life and the environment. If we look at the previous themes and the goals of this movement, at the same time, we can conclude that we need a new economic system. A system in which the human being and its well-being are the focus point. Financial resources will be liberated. Poverty, misery and diseases will largely be unknown. The lessons from history are clear. As long as, long as mankind allowed the highest of the Auschwitz architects to continue being the power brokers behind today's global economic order, there will be no social justice. Stop the maintenance of unemployment. Everybody has the right to be employed. And if we look at the task ahead, we see that there is a lot to achieve and that we need a lot of people who support us in order to accomplish this. Completely new opportunities and jobs can be created. We demand that no one fools around any longer with the future of our young people. A 56% unemployment rate, like in Greece and Spain, my home country, show us one thing very clearly. The gangsters of the EU Brussels have declared war to our young people and therefore forfeited their own future. These gangsters will lose this war. The colonial empires of earlier centuries that divided the world into rich and poor have been replaced by the world's land leading export nations of chemical, pharmaceutical and petrochemical products. The global interest of the oil and drug cartel not only cement the injustices on our planet, but further expand them every day. Of all these new modern forms of economic dependency, by far the most heinous form is that of pharmaceutical colonialism. Behind the deceptive fails of charity, and fighting epidemics, toxic and deadly drugs that decimate the population, aggravate economic dependency are being promoted across the developing world. In a similar way, the division between rich and poor nations is further aggravated by promoting patented genetically modified seeds and foods to the developing world under the false pretext of fighting world hunger. The termination of the investment business with patented drugs and foods is a precondition for decreasing the gap between industrialized and developing countries and establish social justice on a worldwide scale. The modern decentralized technologies in this field of health, nutrition, energy and others are the basis for economic growth in the developing world and for decreasing dependencies. 
Moreover, the termination of tribute patents, patents, pay developing nations to the oil and drug cartel will liberate vast amounts of economic resources that can be used to meet the basic needs of the people, including food, health, education, and employment. When you reflect on this and carry out your own research, you will realize to what extent you have been deceived and cheated from gaining a proper understanding of history. This serves the status quo and thereby contributes to the global deception. You will suddenly understand only when this knowledge is spread fast and in an effective way, then many people will join this movement and human lives will be rescued. There are moments in life where you must act. One of these moments is now. I have to make a decision to save our human rights, life and health, and against destruction of life. Make a network and start making plans for activities in your hometown. With only one mouse click, you can send life-saving information for other people. You don't need any witchcraft to participate in this movement. In our movement, we are experts as far as health in analyzing historic backgrounds are concerned. We are looking for experts in other areas. Please help us to find them. Did you already read this book? Yes. If not, please do so. This book will be a revelation, a revelation to you. It contains information, documents and unique analyses which you will find nowhere else. Each one has been officially proved. Please carry out your own research. Don't let them fool you. You can easily find out who is behind some so-named neutral websites to go there. Please send this link to all your contacts to Please send We live in an internet world. And we know that information can be spread amazingly quickly. Use this medium well to invite your friends, your family, your relatives to get this information and to visit our website. Here you will find information, a course in details and more. At the bottom of this page you will find a map. If you click on it, it shows you the national coordinators of the movement of life. You may be click on the little sign, then you can see the address and contact details. There are many ways in which everybody can participate in this movement. Talk and discuss these topics, spread the information that you have heard here today. Inspire people to join this movement, we come Organize yourself. We love to support you. But you will have to take the initiative by yourself to become it. This movement needs you. I thank especially today you, the survivors of Auschwitz, 
from the bottom of my heart. I will commit myself to do everything possible to ensure that what, what has been done to you will never be forgotten and will never happen again. For that reason, we are planning to repeat this meeting every year with young people here in Auschwitz. This is a promise. Thank you very much. Thank you.